What's the word, everybody? We got Duarte, co-owner of Drift HQ. Here, we're at the compound, and we're gonna do a shop tour of his setup today. But I've known Duarte now for what? Four years? A few years, yeah. Yeah. We've known each other, but um, Clutch Kickers is what brought us together. Yeah, he was like, come drive my car, Clutch Kickers, and I was like, I'm there. I don't think there was even a reply outside of we're ready to go. No, he saw the car. I've always wanted somebody that could drive besides me. I can't drive, but he made it work. <laughs> yeah, you ripped, you dude. You proved that my car worked. That's yeah. what I wanted. It did. It, it did yeah. win. We actually won that event, even yeah. though no one knows that. Exactly. Now they <laughs> Long know. story. Now they know. I thought yeah. about that yesterday when you're like, oh, let's film tomorrow. I'm like, can we talk about clutch kickers that my car actually won? We can, we actually. Took, Why yeah. not? I'll just yeah. say it. So I won the Clutch Kickers event, but the announcer announced it wrong yeah. and gave the win to Taylor Hall, which was fine. And basically, long story short, you know, they were like, no, you actually won. I'm like, yeah, whatever. They're like, yeah. no, you actually won. Like, we picked you as a winner. And I was like, oh, dang, that sucks. So ended up winning and figuring it out and doing all that. But yeah. The car rips. The car proved rips. proved that it can rip and I can't drive. So no, but it. when you drove it next, right. you ripped. Yeah, I've been learning. I've been getting it better and better. Thankfully to him, like learning, driving against them, with him, against them, and getting better every day. Yeah. But. It was cool, too, because it's like, it shows how important the setup is. Like, you had all, all the right parts. And he dialed this thing there. in to almost a degree that I couldn't drive it later. Yeah. That's to show, <laughs> like, when you're at that level, how much more you got to prepare the car to win, like, at the end battles like so sure. yeah he gave my car back but i think i had 295 needles in the back inch <laughs> of towing in the back and the car was for me undrivable with to him he was making it look like he was just breezing so it's fun that was yeah. a good car i've learned a lot it. since then these are some of the cars we'll get to those later we're gonna go run inside of the shop yeah. now and let's start inside this. it's warm right now we're gonna go sit in the ac nice ac okay let's start at this end this shop is sick by the way yeah the best thing we are always in a competition here to who has the cleanest shop best cars inside so i think right this now we're winning a little yeah. bit a i little like bit. all the neon signs and everything too it's cool yeah so the it's garage great mahal. to show the spots garage mahal right garage here. mahal baby let's start in this corner here so we were just talking about the car i was driving and help kind of set it up and get it hooked up and and cooking this is the car so this the baby this is what pretty much look pulleys already popped out we actually had to pull a pulley to put on that car to take it to the dyno but this car i've had for about five years now this thing like is what made drift hq to what it is today like we needed to prove that we could build a sick car and pretty much by building this car we made a point that we could do something cooler than just the average stuff and then the color got attached to drift hq based on this car which now several cars are green so it's like it is the best car to start with then it is the best car. <laughs> That's Definitely. good. What's changed since I drove it last? I think intake has okay. changed because I used to have like a inferior intake and it kept splitting underneath. So we, okay. were, we got tired of welding the intake. What manifold is it now? Plasma man. Okay. Yeah, these can hold Sick. Yeah, they're like really a nice. beauty. Also, I believe, no, when you drove it, I already had put the Garrett on. Oh, I think so, I had, had a precision on it when I drove it. No, that, this car oh, that has was a precision. precision. Yeah. Okay. So this car has the, the Garrett in it and it's been great. Like we don't touch anything. This is my most reliable car. Like <laughs> this thing here is always operational. Like the only thing that I ever snapped on this car, car, it is the oldest car. So it's been through a lot. I mean, yeah. the first two years of any build is what people don't realize that they build these crazy cars and it takes just that much long, like six months, a year to dial put in. dialing in the cars and just throwing money at the car. So it's not just the initial build is the after it's the testing days it's the agony of getting to the track and something not working but now we can consider it that it's dialed we called it mona because we to us it was uh, it was perfect it will always look in best and it best condition really nice. possible right now it's gonna go through the rebuild stage we're actually gonna cut the back up and put in fiberglass Ooh, lightning Just in a little bit lightning a little that bit that was my only complaint when She's i drove heavy. it i'm like this thing is a pig it's heavy yeah. but it did everything it was supposed to we overdid it a little bit in the yeah. cage like but it, that's the thing yeah. it's the fine line between building a car that's super super nice and like managing the weight because yeah. even like with our rcr cars there's some things that we do that add weight to the car and it's strictly to make it look nice because we're a professional team. We gotta have yeah. a nice looking car. That's like why my cars were always the lightest because they were just pieces of 
shit put together yeah. with zip ties, you know? <laughs> like So in average what what does your sedan weight comparison? So my F D car was sedan with the turbo E thirty six motor, which have been somewhat comparable, was twenty six fifty with yeah. me in it. And this weighs thirty three hundred pounds. Yeah. So she's heavy. Yeah, and you so can feel it. You really can feel it. Even between the two cars here, you can feel a 300 pound difference because when you weight transfer, this car still wants to keep moving and moving and moving. So it took me a little bit to adapt and get back on the throttle faster and do things that I wasn't used to. Yeah. And by him saying like, hey, you need to punch sooner, in and sooner. not be sooner and be stuff. Ahead of like, it. I actually got better at driving. Also, you have BCs on here now. Yes. I didn't have those yeah. when I drove. That is true. That is true. That made a huge difference. That was the biggest thing when I was driving. I was like, man, these shocks are so awful. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, we need to fix this somehow. And that's why we had so much tow in the car in the back because it had very little shock stroke. So I was trying to use a tire to plant the car instead yeah. of the suspension um, because there wasn't much suspension. So for every battle that you did, I think we made like two to three adjustments to yeah. get you what you wanted and it still it wasn't worked. enough. It was enough. Like we ended up having to lower the pressure to like, I think 10, 10. or 13, something <laughs> yeah. like that. It was nuts. So like something I had never done either is low to that degree of a pressure, but once it did, like it did what it needed to do. But now with this suspension, you don't need to do all that. Yeah. Like it be, it's too much. So how much power does it have like on kill mode? Kill mode, like around 700. Okay. And Nothing. that's a G35 900? Uh, 770. Actually. Oh, dang. So yeah. you're zinging that thing to yeah. make 700. Yeah. So it's all, I think 28 pounds when okay. it's up there. Twin so, gates, I see. Yeah. Popping flames here and there. Yeah. Making the, people go dead. Yep. Yeah. And it's rear mount radiator. I rear mount rad. Big Here I see pump. I went through variations. Oh, I yeah, think the, when you drove oh, it, yeah. it was all uh, like also on the, mini, on the Cooper pump. mini Cooper pump. And then we ended up just it's going back to the Dan Industries and the KRC and the whole yeah. setup. Like, I love it like this. this is the I was losing a lot of feel. Yeah, exactly. The car yeah. was washy. And it's always a compromise going to the electric pump. I haven't driven an electric pump that's perfect. Like I have them in some of my cars and they work great. I get them to set, set up correct, but nothing's better than the actual uh, like mechanical hydraulic pump, especially in the field or faster. Like it transitions, you could feel or well, there's no dead exactly. spot. Exactly, there is no dead spot. It's just spot. like smooth all the way through. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's the kill, kill switch cable through yeah. a tube. Yeah, dude wonders why his car weighs so right. much, dude. Because he's got all these extra things that are all heavy everywhere. I could just point a heavy. Yeah, thing. all he said to me is like carbon fiber, plastic, I would have done this. He's just start picking it apart for weight. It wasn't even if it worked or not. Well, it he was like, like I'm going to take much, all this out. How much lighter could it be? And I'm like, well, a there's lot a lot lighter. of stuff that can't, like without building a new car, and you don't yeah. want to do that. But there's probably like a solid 250 that can come Yeah, out. like how much does this bar That's weight? too much. Yeah. <laughs> Way too you much. I, I won't, I'll stop looking at it. I yeah. don't want to be crazy about it. But what fuel does it run on? E85. Okay. And you have an SLR kit? Yeah. Looks like Only M3 brakes. Oh, this is an M3 chassis, That is right? an M3. Okay. I got a rebuild. Ruined um, another title. M3. Yeah, I ruined a lot of M3s. Another M3, gone. Yeah, gone. <laughs> just because he wants an M3. It, it was already salvaged. It wasn't because of that. <laughs> I'm just like, messing with you. It was just salvaged. Yeah. That's what, I used to part them out to make extra money to put back in a car, right. so I took them, parted them. That this was smart. one of them. And also, like, you get... Obviously, this has a quick change in it now, which we'll see in a second, but you do get the better diff and axles yeah. and all that stuff. And that, that M3 rear end is pretty much indestructible. You just don't get quick that's change. That's what's on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is like the over... Overly crazy, built and, and then, then half of the build. Yeah. Pretty much. Which one's, which one's better to drive? Well, you drove both of them, and we set them up together. So I think, like, that one is, is lighter. It's 300 pounds lighter. This is obviously more fun to drive because it's indestructible. Yeah. Like you can put this thing through the paces, bang gears up and down, shoot flames, and you know it's gonna hold up. This here, there's limitations on the transmission and there's limitations on power. So we can't put all the power that we want because we know we're gonna break axles, this and that. But it's generally a very simple car. It's a rear end of a E46 M3, but this chassis cost me 300 bucks. So you can't beat that. Like it was 300 bucks, rear end of a E46 M3 that I already parted another one, slapped it inside of here and from everything forward, it's just BMW trans, 
One piece drive is that shaft. Fifty four six speed. He hates one piece drive shaft. Is that fifty four six speed? Okay. Yeah. With a triple disc I don't hate tilt. One piece and drive shaft. I just hate it. the one piece gets rid of the jubo. Yeah. That's, That's what he hates. So I don't mind. In his piece. favorite, we have a clutch delay valve on it yeah. so that it, it it helps. The Put last competition that you went with me, we ended up burning the the actual clutch in this, thinking it was the clutch and it wasn't. It was actually the disc had separated and it chewed through my entire transmission. Look at the transmission is here or was here? Look. Cricket tried to weld it again. Oh my and it gosh. Didn't hold up. It so, sheared oh. the whole thing. <laughs> so that was, you know, that's the that comp. Was that was about to be really sketchy. Yeah, that was the comp. Oh and I was gosh. thinking, hey, I lost. Oh, that's sketchy. Dude. So yeah, needless to say, Dude. like the the manufacturer was like, yeah, we're not selling those clutches anymore. Oh my! I'm not gosh. gonna mention the name, but uh, they paid for a new transmission and everything. Oh, but dang, it was pretty. Cool. The clips that hold everything like just disintegrated. They were all stuck inside of the metal. Dude, in there. what were you doing? Nothing. No. I was there <laughs> shifting. Nothing crazy, and Brandy it made me look like an idiot. Not Come. double clutching like you should. Oh, I get man. this guy to give me some advantage in a comp. We get there, I made myself look like an idiot. Couldn't drive the car. Was like the the car was going crazy, but now it has a tilt and triple disc, and she's good. And a really small delay valve orifice, probably yes. now. Yes. <laughs> Those tilt and triples Absolutely. are crazy. So what's up on the inside? What is that thing right there in the middle on the dash? That is the uh, AC controller. Oh, okay. So it has the like cool suit thing. Cool suit without the ice. It's got just it. like the self-generating like little box and stuff. Oh, okay, so it's got an AC compressor in it. Yeah, it's yep. nice. It helps in floor, especially clutch kickers. That was a lifesaver. Like got you can it. actually sit in the car and like enjoy yourself for a little bit. There's a it, lot of sheet metal work back here. Yes. All that a weight. Lot. All that <laughs> weight. All those points. So it's on it's a safe car. It is on actually on ECU Master now. Oh, okay. So AEM has already had the cluster, so we yeah, just adapted it to it. Yeah. So it's on ECU Hanging Master, titles. nothing crazy. GSR, dog box, it's like, it seems like it's no, so crazy nothing now. Nothing crazy. Yeah, right? 700 horsepower 2J, dog box, quick change, rear rad. But now look at how, how all the cars are coming out. Yeah. I saw your video about people just overbuilding their shit. Like, this car is nothing. I used to pull up in this car and be the coolest car in the block. Now I'm, like, way down there. Yeah, it's true. I'm, like... Also, this? you're going to bigger events with faster and better true. cars, too. True, true. So it's, like... Yeah, I get to compete take. against the pros. Him, Dan, all these guys against the track. So it keeps up. What? That's Dan's fault, though. Like, on the other side, we'll get there. Uh, we'll talk about it. I was going to say, what tire size do you normally run on here? You run 18s all the way around. Usually, when I want to run, like, sticky tires, I'll probably run a 285. I've never put a 295 since you put on here. Yeah. So, 285 with a soft compound, this thing moves. Yeah. Like, usually a half-inch toe in. You can already see it there. It's like We were running a really old tire design, too, back then. Yeah. So, it might not have been much faster, like... Than yeah. than on a 285 it definitely though. moves it's kept up to with adam's car which is running what 300 something yeah 305s or something yeah, 315 it keeps up with most of the cars on the line it phases people too i mean it's it smokes them out like yeah. when it's going but it's got some juice to it for sure and it keeps it cool we see we made the radiator and the v mount that's set what up i was gonna look at next so this like pulls air and allows the the fans to be a little farther away from the radiator but it never ran hot at all no. when I drove it. It runs really max. good. Small radiator. Yeah. Like we used to have a massive radiator in here That's and it worse. always always um overheated. Yeah. This warms up fast, cools down fast. I think when we you got it, we actually already had put this up here to transfer the weight better instead yep. of below. So that was one of the biggest changes that we probably did on this car. This is actually kind of a trick. I don't know if you did this on purpose, but with the solid axle cars back in the day, we always used to put the fuel cells up top because there's not really easy roll center adjustment on those cars. So by putting weight up high over the axle, you're actually putting some roll center into it like by moving weight that way. So this is actually a good spot yeah. for that, right on top of the axle. It, it made a, a big change in how the car felt, how it behaved like on transition and on entry. This car used to just, when you entered, you just used to go all the way to the woods. 
because yeah. it wouldn't hold itself. We just keep digging, digging, digging. Yeah. And until it wasn't him saying like, hey, you actually need to hold the hydro longer and set yourself up and then like slingshot the BMWs. I was just like, no, it needs to go. And I'll be backpedaling and into the woods, especially at Clutch Patience. Kickers. Patience. So you got True Coil Ever BCs on here. Yep. Gotta have him with the this setup unless we cut the entire frame. Yeah, for sure. Cause quick change. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, for sure. The quick change thing is tough. Like people have tried. You can explain it right there. Oh like, yeah. You can see why you would need it or not need it. Yeah. So the quick change axles are way bigger in here. So this is not a quick change. It's an M3 no, setup. Stop so you could run a spring bucket here, but on the quick change. The axle basically runs right through wherever the spring bucket would be, so you can't really run it. There are people that have basically remade the upper spring bucket to use it, but it's easier just to go true coil over at that point. That brace is cool. You guys made that? Yep. Sell them at drifthq.com. So no go. shameless plug there. <laughs> Can you run a rear bar with it? Yeah. Oh, nice. nice and we clearance Sick. it for that. We I was have gonna it say, in aluminum and steel. Got it. And it ties the sway bar together, so even if you were running a sway bar, it would brace the sway bar yeah. better. We it's just good um, design. provide longer bolts with it. I probably need to get one of those for my car. So subframe reinforcements are all done on this car up oh, here. Yeah. We're jumping around cars here because it's easy. They're stacked on top of each other. You got the radium set up. Where's this? Oh, it's right here. Got it. That one's in the trunk. Yeah. Yep. We didn't want to put that. This car pack. actually has front mount radiators, so we yeah. didn't want to go full crazy with it. That's what I was looking at. Underneath looks so simple with no fuel cell here. Yeah. And just the uh, your radium fuel filter there, bulkhead fittings. This Very is a three and a half part. inch oval or three inch oval. It looks small. It's three and a half, yeah. Okay. How much power does this car make? 645. Okay. Has it has gates has on a, it too. Has a single, okay. and that's a precision on okay, on this yeah. one. This has it pulls six, pretty quick. Six two six two or six two six five. Six two six two. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. Setup. I used to have a For sixty a three sixty two, liter. and now it's sixty two sixty two on there. Guys, this has, this is a three liter NA motor, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. So GT big motor. GE guy. Big GE motor. Sorry. Yeah. And then it has GE head everything. GE head. So full GE, GE just right. just. Just all through. built up, yeah. Got it. That's that cool. was what, like, I figured out. Obviously, a lot of people have done it after. Like, I went on one of Adam's videos and showed this car. Is that, like, the price of just buying that motor, I built this entire motor up here. So, like, the cost to benefit value and what is, do you, like, it's You just there. don't get oil squirters. Yeah, you just don't get the oil and the squirters. And you just tell them to drill through so you have the return on the proper side. Got it. When they're building it. And that's it. So, that has pistons, rods, cams. Everything. Yeah, train. Everything's done. Everything. Got it. Yeah, it I drove that car. It was good. The yeah. response was yeah, good. Yeah, we tanned them, and it was it was fine. Yeah, it like was it's really a good. fun car to drive. It's a just a regular BMW six-speed transmission from the 335s, but it's definitely a cool car to drive. Yeah, it is cool. So what happened over here? You said something about Rad Dan. Oh yeah, you? we were competing at Riverside, and that man made so much that freaking smoke. And I was falling. I even sent you this oh, video. He didn't and I was hit like, you. No, he didn't he hit me. He smoked you out. He smoked me out so bad, and I didn't realize how close he was to the wall, and I just ate it. Were you I like going so near the wall? Were you like trying to make yourself smaller because you knew you were right there? I had no idea. Okay. I didn't know he was going to be so close, but I sent you the video. I'm like, yeah. just tell me how I effed this up. And he's like, yeah, you shouldn't have been there. Because yeah. I'm like, I need to be on his door. It's rad then. I need to be on his door. <laughs> then. No, I did not need to be on his door. I need to be like further, like closer to his wheel. And I was right there and I was so pumped to be like as close as I could get that. Pumped until you weren't pumped. Yeah. Until it <laughs> ate me and then like you don't know what happens. It hits, flips, and you you're just like, anything. can't see nothing. You're blind. That was a cool time. run though. That's cool. We became pretty good friends. After What's that. the next event for this? You gonna fix that and then you're gonna take it Probably out? Probably Hyperfest. Okay, so. Like we'll fix up the back, we'll cut here, put a 2F rear end. Okay, um, cool. Fiberglass, I already have a trunk from HEK. And that's it, just Sick. paint it again, it's ready to go. Awesome. Yeah, Nothing taking crazy. weight off the rear will, will help too. Yeah, that's I plan good. on doing the HEK um, roof on this oh, too. Oh, sick. So we might change, we stock those. They're super cheap, under a grant for the entire roof. Nice. 
What's nice about that is you don't really have to replace them very often, yep. so a grand is worth it. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. So this is the E90 build. I have E92, don't E92, say it. sorry. E90's, a E90's are way better looking, sorry. So DCT. Yep. What transmission is it, actually? E92 M3 DCT. Some other cars yeah. you guys got going on. So here. I'll head Thanks off. for giving us a tour. For sure. Later. Get back Later. to work. Get back to work, bitch. Is the zip tie it's snipped though? Because you know Chelsea don't like it. If, if we were his crew, we'd be fired. We'd be, we'd fired, be fired right away. It's right away. Snipped zip tie. First dude. time we met him, it was Look like, boys, this. if you were my crew, you'd be fired. Look at this zip tie. It ain't yeah. snipped. I'm like, well, good thing we don't work for you. Yeah. By, I by said the fact that he blew the damn bumper gun. off. Did he give it to you guys <laughs> or no? You're the guy who blew the bumper off, and you mad at us because we didn't snip the zip tie. You know? Yeah. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Blow bumpers off, break yeah. stuff so we can fix it? Yeah, it checks out. <laughs> you did anyway, that. this is Chris. That's Cricket. These guys, guys are the guys who build most of these cars and are the wrenches behind everything. You do a lot of the fab stuff, right? Yeah, I do all the fab. He does all of the mechanical, all the electrical, all the, the stuff that makes the car run. I just make it safe. He makes it stay together. Neither, of them, together. neither of them cut zip ties. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is they don't use them to begin with, right? So when you yeah. do use one, you're like, yeah. I don't really know how to so use zip this. Zip ties and self-tappers are just not... Ooh, self-tappers, nope. <laughs> self-tappers are a, I'm in a jam tool. Yeah. That's it. Trust me. That's that, a pilot that car has so many self-tappers in it. Whenever you're working underneath it, you know in Mortal Kombat, when you get like uppercut, oh, there's that spike pit? Anytime you're working on that car, that's what it feels like. Oh, no. So this is their C4 with the RB25. Uh, yep. Neo. Yeah, Neo. so 25 Neo, and it's actually the DE. It was the non-turbo one, oh. so it comes back to it with a little bit more compression. And you guys are all about the non-turbo. Is it stock block? Completely stock, yeah. Wait, stock head, too? Stock head, stock cam, stock head gasket, everything. What? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. It, uh, it actually takes power pretty well, and on E85 with a little extra compression definitely helps it out. And this is a 770? Yep, G3770. On all the cars. Most commonly used turbo here. All three, four cars we've... Well, the other one's G35. Oh. That one's G35. No, that's G37. Is it G37 too? The oh, only shit. car that was different was the precision on this car. Yeah, we don't like yeah. that turbo. Yeah, that turbo was Smokes. a lot of headaches. We sent it back four well, times. Yeah. That damn seal in the top that you're not supposed to remove avoids the warranty. Just, I thought you said we were talking shit. What? I mean, you <laughs> want to talk shit about them? You talk shit about them? I'm just. I, I ain't sponsored by them. I'm guy. being yeah. Switzerland here, man. <laughs> but if you look at the light right behind the orange car, it says Garrett. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. To be fair, the precisions always make the most power per millimeter. These are the most durable, though. That's how you measure in millimeters? Yeah, exactly. like your rate. I like your rate of measurement. Sounds Dude. Good. Sounds way sounds bigger that way. <laughs> sounds huge. Anyways, so how much power does this make? Uh, like 475 right now. Newton meters or? or Horsepower. <laughs> we're talking, <laughs> talking different measurements. So 475. Yeah. NA motor. NA motor with big turp ski. That's like the best RB I've ever heard. Yeah. I mean, except for boots, I hate which somehow survives so still. Same. Same. Yeah. But it's cool because of what it is, right? Yeah. And, like, it's the only car in existence that the crank pulley is even with the center of the hub. Yeah, so what do you call it? A mid engine car? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a, a mid engine, engine car. Mid shift. Yeah, it's cool. So, what transmission is in it? It's a BMW ZF. So it's a Chevy car with a Nissan motor and God's a BMW gearbox, transmission. It's six gearbox. speed or five speed? Five speed. ZF320. ZF320. That's the one. Could be a 310. You can't really even tell the difference most yeah. of the time. It's but holding the power. That's all I care Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, these don't make any torque anyway. And so it's also fine. really nice because uh, when you're trying to do like a remote mounted shifter or something, whereas like, you know, R154s or other transmissions, it's a, whole deal. It's a pedestal, you know, and this one's just, you mount to the one chassis, rod. you set a shifter link, and that's it. I know, because my Fox body rod is like this long. <laughs> It's like 1,300 millimeters. Just grab about the size of your rod. <laughs> yeah. Now, I yeah. Said it's like 1,300. It the story gets, it gets bigger and bigger, though, the times. farther the story goes along. <laughs> now we're measuring in inches. Right. No, millimeters. millimeters. Oh. 1,300 millimeters. Yeah, it's that huge. That sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's actually long. Got to be longer. No, no it's probably 1,300. Uh, doing the math. 25.4, whatever. Carry Anyways. The yeah, carry the... Dot <laughs> <Not Okay>. the eye. <laughs> so the suspension... Is definitely custom. Yep, so we sent the stock upper and lower control arms up to Josiah in Canada and he whipped us up some extended upper oh, and lower. Yeah, FDF boys. Got it. 
So we got that all sorted out. We used the QA1 coilovers because this car from the factory has like 10 degrees of steering angle. It's like a yeah. four point turn to it's get into really a regular bad. parking Second spot. Second maximum. Yeah, it's rough. Not a good time. So that was honestly more of what we did it for as opposed to, you know, actually filling out the wide body because obviously we can put more lip on these cars. Well, yeah. So how much angle does it have now? Enough. Yeah. We haven't really measured it flat out. It was is it like drift car angle or just normal car angle now? No, it's got drift car angle. Okay. I, mean, so I, six, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. Is it really? It's, yeah. Quite a bit. Well, that's a lot. It's got a fair amount. That's cool. Well, keeping all the factory. Yeah, we put pieces. all the wells and stuff back in there because our engine bay was just accumulating all of the dirt. So. Got it. Yeah, so that was uh, that was the Sean Booth special. The this stock, guy? Um, we reused the stock power steering reservoir because it fit in with all the, you know. Yeah factory stuff and it started leaking because it was plastic so uh, we, we took one off of the R32 and up. stuck it on there. Got it. What um so RB power Nissan power steering pump. Yep. Yeah power All steering that uh, stuff. pressure ratio actually worked out really well. We oh, got the little swirl pot here too. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was fun. a fun one to make. Yeah. Really. We kind of did like a V-mount setup for the um, radiator and the yep. intercooler as well. That's what I was looking at. It's like so tucked down in there. Yeah. While we had all the room in the world in the front of this like we could have literally put another RB in front of it but we wanted no to do height. something a little more showy. Yeah, exactly. And also the height's a concern and the airflow is a concern because real estate as big as the front of this car is, you only have like that big of a grill in the front bumper. Right. Well, that's the same. Like all these cars from this era, like my Fox body, the same way. It just has this little yeah. thin grill at the bottom. Yeah. So I end up like painting the trim all the way to the edge and then paint, cutting the center out. Yeah. So it's like kind of looks from some yeah. angles like it's stock still, but yeah, it's like just to get some airflow because there's yeah, none. None yeah. whatsoever. And then at least this with the V mount, you're pulling it, you're pushing the hot air back down too. Exactly, and that was our concern because of how bulky the front end and everything is with the car. Like, where is the heat going to go? So right. Seems but also, it's more of like a show street car type of right, thing. Right. Exactly. Like it was never designed to be competitive. It was just building something cool and unique. Got yeah. it. And to show off the body kit that we sell. Yeah. Uh, we had like yeah. six of these lying around, like. Well, we got to put them on to show people what they look like and see how easy it is they to are do. Cool. Yeah, it still like keeps its '90s flair and feel to yeah, it. Yeah, sure. By but modernizing it, and then like with the gurney flap on the wing, is that adjustable too or no? Yeah, you can go in with it. But you have to unbolt it and then go in. So right it's now like, it's all the way it's out. It's like a Walmart Ferrari. Man. I was calling it a granny <laughs> flap for like a week. No, but it's not. Like it's not a kit car. It's still right, a right. C4. You're not trying to make it something else. Yeah, but unless you like no faster. cars, it's faster. faster and cooler. Yeah. So like the normal C4 motor is done at 4200, and this one starts at 4200. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. The engine didn't fit. The transmission didn't fit. These have um, a torque plate, kind of like yeah. the same thing as the FD does, the RX7. Yeah, like a power plant frame thing. Yeah, so it there's goes no from the side of the trans to the side of the diff. So there's no nose support for the differential, and there's no um, trans like support, trans center support at all. Got it. And so it's also fiberglass chassis so there's yeah. nowhere to put it so what we ended up doing is the convertible models of these actually have an x brace that goes from corner to corner uh, all the way across the bottom of the car of so we got one of those that had all the threaded holes from the factory except for the two in the rear he had to weld nuts in there and then we actually used that for the center support for our uh, transmission got transfer. it well yeah that'll work yeah for sure it's supposed to be structural it's structural yeah. enough yeah that's <laughs> good no and it's like a bolt-on piece that's cool yeah. The, but this car must have started as like a really nice car yeah, so yeah, it's like guy, everywhere i look is like very well taken care of. It doesn't look like you guys did anything to the interior. It looks brand new. Yeah, we stayed out of it so we wouldn't get uh, a dirty well, you, It's hydro. the same parts. You still used Phillips head screws like the factory. Yeah, that's what, that was the point. We tried <laughs> this to make car probably came with a bunch of self-tappers oh, yeah. on it. Most we threw those out. But so it was kind of the, the debate when we were first getting into building the car. It's like we could buy something that's just beat to death and then still have to figure out how to get all the replacement parts for it. Or you spend a little extra money, you buy something that's clean, and then we just build the power plant, basically. So we found this, like, 30,000-mile, beautiful mint, made all the Corvette owners cry. Yeah. <laughs> and this, does the cinch still work? The seat belt yes. cinch? We the lower one them. does, but the, the lower one, one Not the top one. You want to see airbags in the 80s? It's a face pad. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. It's a pillow. That's more than most cars back then had. Yeah, right? I think I'd rather hit that than the airbags I mean, in my out. Corolla, you're just going to fly out the windshield. <laughs> Guy like men. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've seen your Corolla. Style. Your Corolla just holds wind out, not even water. Yeah. Just yeah. pours it on oh, both sides. Oh, that side. the white one? That's yes. Not, that's hey, you got rid of it? I Thank God. 
He comes the over during the it. hurricane. We're having like a hurricane drift session. He's like, I'm on my way, boys. And he's filming like his windshield and he has his windshield wipers going and you can see it sloshing water everywhere. But there's still a waterfall coming down the windshield. It's coming on the inside of the <laughs> car. I'll, I'll, the guy the, he bought it I'll give you the video to post. <laughs> Uh, just giving you an update on Hurricane Ian. We've got uh, water flowing in the top sill of the car, like a waterfall. This is actually running on the inside, not the outside. We've got minor flooding. We are hydroplaning. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good one. But yeah, these had a cinch feature that you would like latch the seatbelt. This is going to make me feel old. Yeah, I was not around when this car came out, but... Really? Um, You're not that old? Cinch. No. Damn, I, I'm dead. Maybe old. Well, when's is, the last year? Okay, I was one he year old. He went up to 91. So okay. I was a couple year old. But my, my dad's friend had one, and I remember just being in the car and like, what does this button do? Like, you know, a kid, you just mess like, with everything, and it's like, whoa! And it tightened the belt up, and I was like... What? Like, I didn't get it back then. I'm like, why would you want? It's like a trapping me in here, you yeah. know? But it's just so, because the handle is so good back in the day that you had to have that. <laughs> yeah. These oh, seats this, are sick, though. This thing in, like, stock form, it when it so was comfy. ripping around, so the body comfy. roll in it was nutty. Yeah, this is oh, like that couch it. that your parents had back in the 80s. Oh, my god! the best seat ever. Dude, cruising. Dude, that's sweet. Dual handbrakes, too. It had left side handbrake back in the day. Yeah, so it's still right here. It's still there. It still works. Oh, and you guys use like a factory style shift yeah, knob, the, uh, vintage style. No, so we had somebody made that for us. The knobs, they um shifts just like Adam a ZF. Scott has a yeah. leather guy, and he made it. But he has the LZ stitch in the top. Dude, it's all original, everything. Even the radio, bro. Dude, you, get zero you need to on that send this out. Delco Bose, send it out to get the Bluetooth thing put in it. Yeah, that's what Adam was talking about. He said there's a company that does it, and I was like, yeah, it'd be kind of sick. 89 this car is. Something's clicking at me here. Yeah, it does it. You turn on the wind, uh, the Does the cluster work or no? Turn the, the headlights cluster off. cluster works for fuel level and coolant temp, but I'm um, still in the process of trying to get the RPM gauge. Just pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out and put it back in. Full flip, dude. It's still clicking. Oh. Yeah, it does. That's the cheat code that he told me to do. Guess uh. it doesn't work. This thing is sick. Dude, this seat is so comfy. I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole time we were working on the interior of the too. car, the whole time we were working on it, we were just like, dude, we can't mess these seats up. We yeah. can't mess these up. But also did not want to try and take those seats out. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Because they are buried in the floorboards. Like, you see that big runner on the oh, left yeah. side there? Like, you are just inside the floorboards of this car. That's cool. Yeah, the wing is cool. Very DTM. And we still got Magnaflow mufflers on. Dude. Because it came with a decent exhaust system in the back, so we we're like, well, we might as well link it up to it. And the RB with the MagnaFlow, honestly, sounds wicked. Sounds good. really good. Yeah, it's got plenty of exhaust too. Oh yeah, it's like dual two and a half all the way. Yeah, and then in the from the mid pipes all and three inch, and then three okay. and a half inch down pipe. The wheels are sick too. Yeah, they're kind of almost like the stock C4 wheels. Similar, yeah. Yeah, we were debating getting the stock ones sent out and turned three piece, but timeline was a big factor. Yeah. Dang, they're directional too? Yeah. yeah. We know because we had to send them back twice because they kept it's putting them on. Every the wheel is different. Yeah. None of them are the same. 285s too. That's a big wheel. What is that, like a 12? 12. Dang. All the Sick. dishes. All the fitment. <laughs> yeah, this thing's really cool. I wish we could go lower, but the uh, side skirts don't allow you to. Yeah, I was like, well, when I got out of the car, I'm like, well, you really got to step way out there yeah, to not step yeah, on the that. Side skirt and the little splitter. And it's cool. Again. Yeah, the side profile from like here to here is like the epitome of the cool '90s, '80s yeah. rig. Yeah. Grow a mustache and watch Miami Vice, you know, and do the whole thing. <laughs> dude, you could just be Don Johnson in this it's thing, like dude. A real Miami, dude. Green for the money. We definitely want to take this thing to one of like the Corvette like enthusiast meets oh, and just yeah. really ruin yeah. somebody's day. You have to. LS fest, you know, just to mess with people. But yeah. they know the car already. And so you know what's funny is like the RVs in. interchange with forklift starters. So yeah. the starter on this thing still sounds like that chattery small block Chevy oh, starter. Perfect. So until it fires up, you wouldn't even know. You see a little. <laughs> choo -choo 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 -choo. That's funny. Well, the motor that came in here was such a dog, it dude. It was. The TPI thing. Adam couldn't even do a burnout with it. Oh, yeah. It was, like, so weak. And it only had... The were just like, no, they were winning. They were winning. <laughs> they were winning. 
It was auto or manual car from the factory? Auto. It was auto. Okay, yeah. so you found a clutch pedal then. Yeah, so fortunately there's a guy down the road, I think the company's like Coastal Corvette or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. And they have all of the Corvettes, and he has like a million C4s over there. So originally we went to look for the C4. He had a bunch of shells sitting out front side, but they were just yeah, beat, like, yeah. just dead. I drive by that place. I've seen it a few times. Because Walt's building one of these. He has one. Oh, really? And I was like, if you need parts, uh, there's a guy, that, like I drive by his place all the time. So my, my instincts tell me you should put an LS in this thing just because yeah. it would make the most sense and you know. No. Could, but I'm, I was saying in terms of like the transmission, I'd put keeping an the SR in this thing, dude. Yeah. Get out, get out of our <laughs> shop. Yeah. Go, man. Or EcoBoost. Those are Eco two letters we don't say around here. You could put an EcoTech in it. You don't put a Ford motor in this thing. No, I say EcoTech. Oh, okay. Chevy one. Dude, you the motor would be anything. so far behind the cr the subframe. These things are already as heavy with a V8. Perfect. So now you're going to be as heavy with even less weight in the front. You're just going to understand. Really? Everywhere. everywhere. And you have the target top for it? Oh, yeah, we have one that's see-through and one that's color Painted? matched. Painted? Oh, the, the color matched one. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta, we got to tighten it down for them. That's on our list. It's on the list? List. I like the carpet-covered visors that are, like, soft yeah. suede. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's to protect gone. your face when you hit the windshield without the airbags <laughs> as well. Yeah. Just extra padding for you. All right. Next car. We'll skip this thing. Skip that thing. Okay. That's for what sale. Is that? so that's an E90. No, this. What is oh, this? Oh, this thing? is. Uh, this was gonna be our giveaway car, but we saw it and we're like, this thing is. A turn. Not, this thing dude. is not a giveaway car. It's been a month of body work just to get this thing halfway yeah. squared. Yeah. yeah. Roof stented. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The seat looks like. They wanted to give away a nice car, not a piece of shit. It looks like three babies were birthed in the. This seat. is your typical like five thousand dollars E. It smells like it's well, I guess this is probably ten grand. Yeah, three seventy. I mean, honestly, three seventy is a decent platform. Oh yeah, what it is, but not this one. I mean, this is perfect to go drifting in, not yeah, to give so you away. Yeah, change an axle when there's six pounds of rust. Oh, perfect to yeah, run yeah, into yeah. you. Can't do that. It's so what? What is the story with this thing? This one we got. Barte bought it um, to kind of just fix it up and flip it. It has uh, LS mounts in it. it Whose car was it? It was Lucas. Torno, um, Prospect driver. Okay. He had the um, E36 coupe, and this was being built for him, but they couldn't finish it in time, so it just kind of went, fell by the wayside. It's a half and decent car. Yeah, it's got um, wise decent. fab front and rear in it. It's got the winners, quick change like um, subframe in it already for it. Yeah. And it's I mean, got it had all the parts. And it's a sedan. It cool. And yeah. it's a sedan. So we yeah. wanted to take this thing cut out the back half of the cage and make like a cool drift taxi kind yeah. of deal, but I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. We got the uh, F30. Hopefully we're going to turn into a party car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was that's what we really want to do with. Yeah. Sell that's this cool. thing. Get it out of here. That is cool. It's half Street Fighter kit, half K2 Industries what kit. What is this? That's K2 Industries. Okay. Because the Street Fighter kit didn't fit. Got it. Yeah. The only problem I see with this is the clearance in the front, but I guess with the... I'm going to cut those. Yeah. Yeah. Ideally you chop all that out anyway. Yeah, I just mean like not oh, going over into the. Yeah, they door have another one. Like the the Street Fighter kit had the other piece that goes over this. Got it. That matched, and this actually carried forward more. But but also mind you, this, this ain't no E36, E46. You can adjust the wheel any no, position like you want five to. Arm rear, yeah. So like you can move. The it five link independent gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Carbon fiber bits. This definitely sat out in the sun for a few days. Yeah. Days. Yeah, I don't know how old the uh, hood is, but it's... Should have buffed out. Just be careful, man. Be careful. Sorry. Don't touch it. You want to make more work for yourself? I'm not touching those cars. So. Let's go to paint next. Yeah. We're already oh, on this color. Oh, you're going to paint it? Green? Yeah. No, no, I'm just going to paint some neutral color. Just yeah. to Wait, your green, green is not neutral? That's the most neutral color of this shop The problem right is yeah. you yeah. paint a car it. green and someone buys it and they don't know how to drift, then it they make us look bad. like shit. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we've had that happen once. I had a green drift seen. car before. You guys had green, green drift cars. You've always been good at drifting, though. No, 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 I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, at least since I've been I might have always been good because no one else was good. <laughs> Better, not good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that works. Well, I don't know. There was definitely got to be better. You don't have to be good. Well, I just started so long ago that no one was really that good by today's standards. There was plenty of good drifters back then. Yeah. But they were like, we were like, oh, he linked the track. Like, sick. Guy. Dude, <laughs> sick. And then like, oh, you have an SR and coilovers, dude. You're like, the man. You're, you're cheating. You're the man. Yeah. Like, it's way too much. And then too much power. when we started adding angle to the cars, it was like, 
Oh, you have angle? It's not even drifting, man. Dude, I yeah, what? You don't have cut knuckles, you have actual uh, angle kit? Get out of here. Dude, angle you, you kit? I didn't even have angle that. kit in my car until like 2012. Cut yeah, knuckles? I, uh, I have cars lower. that still have cut knuckles. Dude, I did Pro-Am with uh, one of our drivers way back when we were still in Fort Myers before like Drift HQ was even a thing. And he had a RB26 S14 with Wise Fab. We ran out and ran the Pro-Am series. This is in like 2011. Dude, everybody's out there like NAKAs. Like if you had an SR, you were a baller. And then we pull up with this car. And just everybody was like, you can't be in program with this. And it's like such a big deal. And it's now like car. entry level, like that's like a starter kit for people. Nowadays. Let's be real. No one runs an RB26. Yeah. <laughs> still. Yeah. yeah no. If you do, you should contemplate yourself. Yeah, you should contemplate selling it while it still runs. Yeah. And while they're up in price, dude. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. You know what an RB when it's blown up is worth? Nothing. 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 When it's running, it's All worth the money. way too much money. Trade the motor it's for ours. a whole car. I know. It's, if your RB is running, get rid of it. Yes. <laughs> tell, tell that to John. He just bought an RB car, blew uh, up his first no. lap, and I was like, put a motor in it and sell it. It's I also don't again. necessarily like hate RBs. I just don't understand like, them. They sound cool. I like RBs yeah, in right-hand cool. drive cars. If left they hand, came with it. Yeah, left-hand drive cars should get a 2 J. I just this think anything oh. that you put an RB in... Up until like 800 horsepower, could just have an SR instead. 800 horsepower SR. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, up until. Like like no, because gear. like the SR spools a turbo as fast as a RB. Yeah. It's more reliable than an RB. Oh, for sure. Give you that. It's way lighter than an RB, and yeah. you can still get parts That's for it. It's not any cheaper though anymore. Too. No, but I'm, it is cheaper though. The people building like RB20s, it's like you have all the problems oh of an RB God. and it's still it a 2.0. It's still a 2.0 with a crank this long and a block that weighs as much as a small ship. I was going to say, it weighs as much as your car. My though. wife had an RB20 in her car. I, that, we didn't get married until she sold the car. Oh! <laughs> she got rid of the car, the guy was driving off, I got on my knee. I was like, it's like, alright, I'm Baby, waiting for this. Now day, I know you're the one. You got rid of the RB. <laughs> That's how you know she's the one. Okay, so also we're talking a bunch of shit. She's literally right there. <laughs> what is this thing? This is Savio's Drift Week Corvette. Oh, I remember this. It now. was gray. It was over at your track over yeah, in Washington. Yeah. They kept Last shutting time. us down. Yeah, that was when he grenaded it's the diff the first lap yep. out. Yep. Yeah. It's too loud. And I also believe that this is the world's only HGK converter. For the HGK kit on this one, and we had to trim it out a bunch, put it on the vert. Oh, for a vert. So I think it's the only one that they did. We did on a vert. That roll bar is literally the cutest thing I've ever it seen. It is. It life. was the only way to make it fit in the cage or in the, the top. top. Yeah. And it still doesn't open or close very well. Like this part rubs is here. Is it like braced anywhere, or is it just, just well that, 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 that bar? It was just enough for Loki to say bar. style bar. Style yeah. bar. It's like a Miata. You know? Got it. Yeah. Same thing. But he ran all the drift into this thing. It's pretty much stock LST with the cam and some headers. And now yeah. um, it's and all stock. It had a quiet there. exhaust option, but they were running the open exhaust Well, it was option. still... We no, whenever we dual mode exhaust the, the from the factory. Flap shut on it, yeah. it kept going into reduced power mode because there was too yeah. much back pressure on the engine. Yeah. It started freaking out. So now we put uh, LS3 heads on it. We got that big Holly high ram sticking on it. And Can you added power the steering oil clear the Corvette no, head or no? Negative. No. Uh, and I cut a lot of it out. I had to cut out this whole section just for it to fit in there. Yeah. They won't even have a uh, windshield wiper. We had a uh, new uh, Mishimoto's dual pass oh, oil coolers, nice. power steering and oil cooler for it because it's a constant issue of oil temperature, not so much cooling temperature. They stay relatively cool for what this they are. Yeah. That's a factory fan module. I'm, Holy I'm working on it. Nike. No, no, no. I see <laughs> that you're trying to keep it as, as much stock stuff And we just got possible. the Holly for it as well. That's crazy. That's yeah. a massive fan. I want people to use those aftermarket for other shit or no? I mean, they could. I imagine they hold a lot of amperage as Rest they should be in that size. Yeah. Well, these things idle at like 2.30 water temp in traffic. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, the fans wouldn't even kick on until 2.25 from the factory. For Chevy. anything Gen 4 LS. Chevy things, dude. Yeah. <sighs> Chevy things. So every time it's like, he's used to his Gen 3 LS in, the, um, in his comp car with the... With the um, right, it runs like 200 all the time. Well, I mean, yeah, every time you get off track, he's like, oh, it's getting hot, it's getting hot. So he started driving this thing, seeing over 200 degrees of water temperature when it's idling. He's like, dude, something's wrong. I'm like, no, nah, bro, no, it's, it's just normal. what, this is what they do. If you look at the yeah. temp gauge, it actually starts reading at 225. Like, that's yeah. when it, like, shows you, like, a that's real number. Yeah, yeah, that's his happy place. That's crazy. But the harness on this thing was just so bad. Like, everything was dry rotted in the car. They all so. fall apart. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, so that's why I just got the holly for it and yep. put a bunch of little stuff in it. And yeah, the holly stuff's really simple to use, too. Yeah. And honestly, to get an ECU and a harness for 1200 bucks, like, yeah. 
I know. But it's also just run it. it's like it's not great, but it's also kind of idiot proof too for like the tuning my, aspect. That's of my it. favorite thing about it because if I gotta take a car that's freshly built to a dyno, the last thing I wanna do is the first startup to be at the dyno and find out like, oh, it's leaking this or the oil right. or this whatever. The base so maps. Are at really least I can good. just be like this size injector, this size motor, yeah. Gen four motor, fired up. It's like a Power FC for Corvettes. I had a Power FC on my damn RV. They're great. Yeah. They're great for what they were back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I had one on my on FD. It. Yeah, you can plug the laptop in too. Yeah, I, didn't I have mean, a laptop. for back in the day, they were so. It was just like simple. yeah, Z thirty two math, the five fifty injectors, and that's it. And then go. cam select whatever go, and it's like runs and drives. Yeah. So I put a big turbo. Season. I put a big turbo on my RV twenty five back in the day, and um, the wastegate dump tube was really short. Okay. So I got like marine exhaust hose. And I hose clamped it to it, which is rated for like 2,000 degrees. So I was yeah. like, this is cool. It'll get the heat out of my engine bay. First time I hit boost, that shit went off like a water wiggle inside my engine bay. Yeah. I thought I blew my motor. I was like, bah, 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 bah. smacking everything on the trans thumb. Well, with an RV, every time the wastegate opens, you're concerned it's going to blow up anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that extra noise. <laughs> well, no, like, as long as the wastegate opens up, you're safe. Well, right. unlike other people, I sold my RV before it blew up. Perfect. Yeah. Smart. Smart. That was like 2016 I sold that car. Sick. Well, yeah, this shop is awesome. It's like pretty well set up. AC, yeah. two ACs now. The color combo, really? it's always clean. I've literally every time I've come in this shop, like it's clean. It's clean. clean. It's yeah. nice. Pride ourselves on a clean shop. It's clean shop, just happy you shop. two working in here. Exactly. We make a mess. Don't let this fool you. No, we I know what I'm mess. saying. Yeah. But when it's and like by me, I mean yeah. he. Maybe. You're the fab guy, dude. Yeah, yeah but um, it's. He makes he makes dust, but I'll be working under a dashboard and I'm just like cutting stuff and just like throwing it out of the windshield and just like going underneath the car. Right after I sweep, I'll be sweeping like, up and then boom, there's a whole trail of shit behind me. Right. But no, but it is always clean. I was gonna go outside and check out some of the cars you guys have that yeah. have out there. Yeah. Man. So Drift HQ has a bunch of rental cars. Also, they probably use these for backup cars when they need to drive stuff as well. I don't know what the whole story is. It's just rental cars. We don't Isn't use that? these. Not at all. No, okay, I don't want to so have to pay for it if I break it. And I don't want to fix it. Coupe. M3 with the oh, okay. S54 in it. With a Turner Airbox. Yeah, basically. The dry one. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, good one. This has SLR kit in it. Uh, yeah, it's your got coolant that tank? SLR regular kit in it. So, where's your coolant tank? Well, don't worry about that. We stole, we stole from really Peter to okay. pay Paul. That's what I was asking. So <laughs> this is like it. 330 horsepower, 8,000 RPM, like the whole nine. This cool is, this was an M3 originally? Yep. yep. Cool. M3 originally. This is when um, we let the guys from Drift Games come um, from Ireland okay. and take on Drift Week. So it's simple. just has a um, harness bar in the back, seats, SLR. self-centering shifter, and a hydro. Nice. Still has AC in it. SLR, um, VCs. Yep. Stiff. All the good stuff. All factory sheet metal. Yep. Yeah. All this simple heavy stuff that you hate so much. No, no, no. But it's simple. It's, it's you're not trying to build a super light car with these. No, so this is just something to take out and for people who are beginners that aren't trying to compete Stock or anything. Fuel tank. Just have fun. But also, Hot this lap. car could do really, really well at a lot of places. Like yeah, that don't require a ton of horsepower. I mean, even when we were driving like uh, muscle man and stuff like that, like this car did fantastic. Like just that car to get you going. Nice. Hey Chelsea, look at Chris real quick. Do you have a question? Oh, look at his eyebrow. His look, eyebrow. Is hey. so, you got a big smudge. You literally <laughs> must have wiped your eye. Damn, it's been there the whole video. No. Did no, you I not didn't. say anything? I think it just. I happened. just whatever, noticed whatever, that. whatever, man. I just noticed it. What do you want? It's I just noticed right. he shaved it's his mustache there. like on Monday, and go. I just noticed you today. Keep going at it. So C six. C six. This is a little bit more serious, or no? No, uh, no, no. It's a stock LS3. Battery. 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 It's, it's a, it's a C stock C6 Corvette, okay. so naturally the battery dies on them yeah. in three days. <laughs> so really as stock as it can be. Oh, okay, got it. So so cats in it. FDF angle kit. Yep, FDF, Mega Mantis, knuckles and all. Okay, clutch delay valve I see. Yep. That's the only mod in the engine bay is a K and N and a clutch delay valve. Yep, and clutch I mean it's, uh, it's an 08, so it has a better transit differential, oh, so it's nice. a little bit more idiot proof. Yep. Feeling a need for a Corvette. Hydro, the angle kit. I guess. Send it. And a big radiator because they. Big radiator. Yeah, they yeah, be overheating. And it it runs until the harness decides it doesn't want to do it, or it As blows you can the see, alternator it's already up. Starting to leave. It's that and alternators, dude. Dude, two alternators are the uh, invitational. They just blow alternators like dude. crazy. And the thing is, everybody gets some like shitty O'Reilly Auto Parts ones because nobody wants to spend like the two hundred fifty dollars for the AC, AC Delco. Delco it's dude. the only way, man. It's the only way. 
So then this is the VA. This is the VA LS. So this is more turned up version of the other this car. This is a right. Texas Speed. Full cage, Texas Speed 4. How big is this motor? Uh, it's just an LS3. Okay. 6.2. Yeah. Okay, so what is that? 383? Something, something 376? Like something yeah, like that. 383. I want to say 384. Something around. I don't know. Math. It's Friday Math. afternoon. What do you want from us? Yeah. That's cool. So this is the one Brutsky beat the crap out of for the Invitational. Yeah, and he sure did. It, uh, you know. Crashed into this the is the transmission. He's like, I don't want to pay for all the repairs. So he came out here with his boy and a hammer, and they started straightening the door out I, in the quarter panel. My car died in front of him. The the uh, DI pump overshot target and shut off, and he smashed into me, and I'm like, my bad, dude. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. So yeah, this has a transmission that you told us never to take out of because it sounds like it's about to explode. Yeah, the don't supercharger. Change don't yeah, change it, don't touch it, right? It's already heat treated, dude. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's heat treated. It's it been sounds like a dog box. Somebody probably didn't put fluid in it and ran it for an entire event and then put fluid in it. Well, shit, I ran my wagon for what? Almost a year without he fluid? He lost like third, and then the next day he lost fifth, and then all of a sudden we go to any gears. And I'm like, well, let's put it on the lift and see what's going on. I pulled the drain plug out. Bone dry, like not even like there was remnants on the drain plug of the trans. Dude, it was, it was dry. just gears so in the bottom. We were at a chump car race, which is like a 24 hour shit car and dirt. Yeah, lemons. Deal. Yeah, like lemons, but like more serious. Lemons is more of like a fun time. But anyway, so we go out and two people get through the car. So four hours of driving. I go out, I'm in my stint, and like about a half hour before the end of my stint, car won't shift anymore. And I'm like, it won't even come out of gear. So I'm just stuck, and luckily I was stuck in fourth, which could do almost the whole track road racing. It was slow out of the corners, but like, I wasn't sitting on the limiter the whole time. Smoked a clutch, clutch baked to it. So no, it dude, no, dude. So we get back, and as I'm driving, and I'm stuck in fourth, I'm like on the radio, I'm like, guys, you're stuck in fourth, blah, blah. They're like, dude, you just gotta get, you have 20 minutes left, you gotta push through it, push through it. I'm like, cool, no problem. So the transmission tunnel is like, so hot dude there's so much heat coming off of it and i'm, I'm starting to panic because i'm like there's a fire on maybe you. the clutch is messed up and it's about to disintegrate and throw all the pieces through my legs or like no whatever fluid. i get we get back and they get underneath and they're like check the fluid check the fluid they go to loosen the drain bolt and just snap the whole transmission bell the housing where the drain bolt goes a little square <laughs> on the zf it, it just shears it right off Nothing comes out. Nothing co smoke. Just you know, smoke coming I'm out just of the hole. You're getting a little out of control with this weight reduction thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Putting fluid in yeah so now. we're like, shit. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So I'm like, what? like, like we go to the trailer. We find this like tapered rubber cone, right? And we just fill it with fluid and jam the cone in there from the bottom and put a strap around it so it's a rubber seal around oh, it. God. Did the whole 18 hour rest of the race with fluid in it. After it ran for six hours with no fluid at a road race event. You're probably still running to this day. Uh, we took it out and changed it, but it would have been fine. Did you take out your mechanic and change him too? Yeah, I mean, that you was... fire us for not We had one ties. of the dudes prep it. <laughs> no, missing prep the whole the transmission fluid. Yeah, and they just swapped the transmission in, thought there was fluid in it, and there wasn't, but anyways. But I also had another gearbox that we called the whiner, and we had wrote whiner on it, because it always whined, and it was like our, my spare. And I'd break a ZF, and I'd put Slap this back the in, in, and it would go forever. And then I'd take it out, put the other one back in, keep the whiner as a spare, break another one. So then eventually I just kept the whiner in there and never broke it. So Still run into this it's thing? It's just heat treated, that, That's what you told me about this one. Right. first swap. Well, it worked. Like, yeah. This thing's going to run forever. It's making yeah, all the noises it perfect. It will. And it's, I said it certainly will last as long as a different one will. So there's yeah. no reason to change it. You might as well finish it off. Yeah. yeah um, I like that. Yeah. So this car... It's very similar to that car, just like yeah, now full legal and V8. Yeah, yeah this has full cage in it, door bars. ZF. ZF. Obviously, if it makes yep. a bunch of noise. Making a bunch of noise. Um, so I have a stock gas tank in it, but it... That's the can, best. Yeah. It's a great location. It's super low and right behind, underneath the rear seat. And it fits more gas than you know what fuel cell does. So right. like normally with three gallons. laps, they're like, all right. So here and crank for 10 minutes, you yeah. got more crank time on the damn thing than you do run time. And for I assure sure. you, this thing drinks a lot of fuel. Does it? It's rich. Runs a little fat. No, it's just a lot of engine. Oh, true, true. So what's this make? Like five hundred? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, that's really good. Especially out of a six two. That's solid. So this is Duarte's F eighty. This is his drift week baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them. Yeah. yeah. The other day, earlier. Earlier he was like, oh, I had to pull parts off my other F eighty to make this F eighty work, and I'm like, 
Damn, dude. What's it like to stunt that <laughs> hard? A couple F80s. You gotta see yeah. his other F80 first. He's got three of them, though. Uh, three? He's only got two. two. We got He's got two. The, 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 re, the refresh car. Yeah. And then this yeah. one. Yeah. I, I spent a lot of time refreshing. Yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. Tell you. Well, just keep it simple. Yeah. So, yeah, this car is uh, Wise Fab, BC. Uh, this has an RK Hydro. Tunes flash and yep. like intercooler upgrade and, and stuff, this is right? This like the seventh front spoiler or front lip that I put on it this year. Yeah. yeah I, might have I watched you do it at the oh, last you event. Oh, you didn't say anything. No, I, I was talking to Duarte. standing there and no, no, nobody said anything. I was talking anything. to Duarte. <laughs> they were all I waiting for it to go. Oh! And I went, oh, no. Yeah, everybody does I didn't that. watch it. I did not watch it happen. I did not watch it happen. Okay. I was talking to Duarte and then he blamed me because he's like, I wasn't paying attention to stop them. And Dwight's so, like, he's like, oh, there's seven people standing here. Nobody says anything. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, everybody's just you're watching. You're like, I'm looking crunches. at everybody. Yeah, like, I'm going as slow as I yeah, possibly can. Is it working? Is it? Work. You, I watched Oops. you. You're fine, dude. It's good. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, this one was a fun story. This thing's first... had a lot of laps, though. This yeah. yeah. Well, the first um, event of what is it, Drift, Drift Week Five? It was Drift Week Five. We were at the Horseshoe. Yeah, Horse, horse Thief. Thief. Yeah, uh, the melted three pistons in this thing. So we towed it over to Castro's shop. Me and Donnie know, lost drove motor. down to um, Southern California yeah, somewhere to get a motor. No, no, no. I picked up pistons and rods. Uh, so I put Wisco pistons and manly rods in this thing. Pull the head off or just do it? Pull the head, pull okay. the pan. Okay. And then um, just, but crankshaft still attached to transmission, motor yeah. still inside the car, just drop the cross member. Put them in there, plastic gauge, like Still one of the bearings put in there. Dude, it's been like two years, and I don't even know how many events. I didn't even know. <laughs> Did we slap this thing pistons. together? But thank God Jordan was there to do the cam timing and stuff, because oh, these yeah. are so overly complicated, and you have to have all the specialty tools. So he was able to do that. We torqued everything, got it back together. Literally Jordan's finished the car, dude. backed the car out of the shop, and Cash was like, yo, I'm closing up shop. You guys got to go. Sorry. I'm like, literally no test drive, no checking for leaks or anything. I hopped in the car, drove two hours to our Airbnb, just like staring at the dashboard, like, come on, be good, be good. <laughs> We get there, we change the oil when we get to the next track. I pull the thing off. Dude, all of the fuzzy from the red shop rags, all in the oil filter, because we were just putting it together so quick oh, and I'm scrubbing right. everything. So I was like, okay, run it for a little bit, I'm gonna change this filter again. And then after that, all the red shop rags was out of the engine. She's mint. Perfect. She's sealed up. Sick. Well, that's a tour of the shop. Thank you guys for giving us a tour. Okay. No, no. Appreciate Thanks it. For coming over. Thank yeah, you, man. dudes. And uh, I'm sure you'll see a lot more from Drift HQ stuff. Later.